Hi, this is team one. And as a final presentation, we're going to introduce realistic virtual trial named RVTOM. Our team members are Yujin, Wang Zhang, and Sun Chen, and we are going to present by this order. Before we go in, just uh, dive in a little about our target problem, virtual trial. Virtual trial is to generate a realistic clothes wearing image using two inputs, a person image and the clothes image. Now let's look at one approach to this problem, our replication paper and our baseline. CP return uh, by Bo Chao Wang consists of two steps, geometric matching model and trial model. Now let's look for the GMM model first. The person information data are extracted from the person image. And then with the clothed image, GMM model learns or predicts how much the clothes should be warped to make a warped clothed image. And with this image and the person information, the trial model makes the final cloth wearing image. Okay, our R return also follows this TOM, GMM to TOM network. The data set we are using are Zalato data set collected by Han and others, but these data set contain some anomaly data, so we manually filter out all the inappropriate data from the original data set, resulting in 15.5k pairs. These are the three approaches we had, uh, each handled by one, one, one member. The first approach is, is by Wan Zhang, uh, which is on the GMM model and deals with the Wart Cloud image. We added two additional loss concepts. The first one is grid distortion loss, which prevents the cloud warping too much. The second one is occlusion element loss, which makes the model consider the occluded part, the hidden part, by the other body part. For the second approach, we added refinement layer to make a coarse image to the refined image. And for the refinement layer, we used dilated convolution to enable wider receptive field, which is already used in many cores to refine uh, networks. And with the ablation study, we found out that uh, training both QM and refinement layer separately performed the best. The last approach is adding adversarial learning concept. Adversarial learning is a learning method to add discriminator, which judges uh, the TOM generated image as real or fake, so that the TOM trains to generate image that discriminator cannot detect, which leads to actual improvement. Now, there are various types of these adversarial learning models. And uh, with the ablation study, we applied the SM patch scan concept, which divides the whole image into small patches so that the discriminator detects on each patch. And with this study, we also found out the right alpha value to balance between the original loss and the adversarial loss. Now let's look at the visualized uh, result of our improvement on CPV time. Look at the first approach. We modify the loss concept to apply the additional two concepts, grid distortion and the equation. And for the second approach, we added on the refinement layer to the end of the generated generator of TOM to uh, calculate both intermediate loss and the final refinement loss. And to apply the adversarial learning concept, we added a discriminator at the end of the trial model to train with the refined image to apply the adversarial loss concept. From now on, we are going to talk about each improvement approach. The first approach is changing GMM loss function. 
approach one is inspired by La Vuitton that introduced these ideas without specific configuration. We observed excessive close distortion. We used the rectangular grid like but frequently the unreasonable ripening like this observed, especially in monocolor or repetitive pattern clothes. Thus, we are proposing to use grid distortion loss LGD. This indicates the extent to distorting of the grid. So the larger LGD means the more distortion. So by controlling this loss, we can confine the excessive distortion. The next one is occlusion handling error loss. CP Beton used only pixel-wise error loss. As you can see here, our wrapped clothes is kind of unreasonable. The reason is here. The ground truth has no pixels occluded by face, hair, and arm. Therefore, GMM tries to train only onto the observable parts. Therefore, we are proposing to use M1 loss C. We excluded face, hair, and arm when calculating M1 loss to control the occlusion. Overall, the first approach is changing loss function on GMM. CP Vuitton, which is original paper, used only Excel-wise L1 loss. However, we used both LGD for grid distortion controlling and L1 OC for occlusion handling. And as a result, as you can see here, our Vuitton, our approach shows more natural stripe pattern by using LGD and also wrapped onto upper body, including occluded parts like this red circle shows. Okay, second approach is refinement on TMM, the second network. We are proposing to use additional refinement layer on TOM for more seamless output. We are going to use the output from the original paper as intermediate output and passes it through dilated convolution. Refined final output is our final output. Dilated convolution are widely used for large receptive field in refinement layer. So our network is using not only the original network, but also refinement network separately. Therefore, loss also be changed. CP Viton use only LTOM, but R Viton will use one more loss for refinement network, that is L1 and LVGG. As you can see from yellow circle of the picture, images passed through refinement layer show seamless image. We did ablation study for finding optimal refinement layer, and by quantitative analysis using FID score, we decided to use dilated convolution network separately. We will talk about this FID evaluation methods on the later section. You could see from the table that FID score of our methods is better than original paper. The final approach is to use adversarial learning. Adversarial learning uses discriminator D to distinguish weird and generated image. And our generator G tries to deceive our output can be classified as weird, not generated. Therefore, we attach it discriminator after refinement layer, and we selected the adversarial learning model as a SEM patch scan. And finally, we added adversarial loss LD to the loss TOM. And lower LD means generator deceives discriminator successfully. And our result looks like weird image. We experimented various types of adversarial learning model and select SM patch again. As a result, TOM is qualitatively and quantitatively enhanced. FID evaluate the performance of generator became better. And also, as you can see here, qualitatively, also it is enhanced. Same patch again, we have more seamless image. And the advantage of using discriminator for adversarial learning is that it is used only for training time. But when we use the network in the actual practical system, it is not needed, which means computational complex is retained, but performance can be enhanced you could see every details of our improvement approach in our paper. We evaluate performance of RV tone by comparing to that of CPV tone. 
Similar to existing works, we performed a qualitative evaluation by sampling and comparing generated try-on images. Secondly, we employ one of the popular metrics to quantitatively evaluate a performance of generative model, namely FID score. Generally, uh, RV tone generates more clear image than that of CPP tone. When you examine the figure in the middle, we easily find uh, several artifacts in the image. On the other hand, the image of RV tone is more clear and realistic compared to CPV tone's result. This is another sample. Uh, generally, the generative model could not produce a very small and sharp object such as finger, like a figure in the middle. Interestingly, uh, RV tone generates a human image who put her hand in the pocket. Consequently, the image looks more realistic, although it is different from the ground truth image. The third sample is a failure case. The strength of CPV tone is using masking methodology in order to preserve details of clothes such as lettering. However, we refine the image again with refine, refinement layer and it makes some part of try-on image lose details. Before we introduce the quantitative evaluation, uh, we will briefly explain the, what is the FI score is. FI score is one of the most popular uh, for evaluating the generative model. Uh, using inception network pre-trained on the ImageNet dataset, the method extracts the features of ground truth image and generated images and statistically compare them. If the distance is large, uh, we can consider the generative, uh, generated image doesn't have important features used by human or machine for understanding images. We evaluate try on image from both the network using FID score. When you compare the CPV tone and RV tone, the RV tone of outperform CPV tone as we expected in FID score. Low FID score is a better performance. We introduced three ways which can improve the RV tone further. First, in the long sleeve clothes, the GMM is not either solution because the sleeves can be dynamically transformed by the human's poses. We need to another solution for the cases. Second, we need to consider masking method again, which is main idea of CPV tone. If we apply the masking method to RV tone, then we can make more realistic try-on images. Lastly, uh, in the discriminator, uh, not all pixels are important because a try-on image generally has a background. When you mask in the patches and uh, make machine focus on the human region, uh, then the, the performance could be enhanced. In summary, with the CPV tone as baseline, we perform First, we examine and refine the John Lando data set, implement the three methods to improve the network, and perform the ovulation study for each method. In the evaluation, we perform the quantitative evaluation using FID score, which have not been done in existing works. As a result, uh, we, can perform, uh, we can confirm the enhancement in try-on image in a qualitative way and a quantitative way. Thank you for your attention.